Good morning. Happy Thanksgiving. Today is Thursday, November 24th, 2022. This year I am spending Thanksgiving on board again. Last year I was also on board for Thanksgiving, but I did not have shows. So tonight we do have two shows. So definitely a little bit different than the previous year and obviously different than if I was home. But we're going to have a really nice day today. I actually got an excursion, so I'm doing the crew escort by myself um, and I'm going to the beach. So today we're in St. Lucia and I got the beach break excursion. So I'm just gonna read you the description of it because that's more helpful for you. Um, so it says, enjoy the sun and sand at St. Lucia's Redwood Beach, just a short bus ride from Castries Harbor. Spend three hours at the beach before returning to the ship, swim in the balmy waters of the Caribbean Sea, relax in a complimentary beach chair, refuel with a drink and snack from the beach bar. So I have to meet on the pier ashore at 9.30. It's about 9.20 right now. So I've just been getting myself ready. I packed my little beach bag, so I am ready to go pretty much. And I'm excited to just have a relaxing self-care day at the beach. And then I'm gonna come back this afternoon and I have shows. Should be fun. This is our last time, or this is my last time visiting St. Lucia, this contract, should I say, because I sign off in 10 days from today, which is crazy. Let's get a move on it. Let's go to the beach. We have just made it on the beach. It is a very gorgeous beach. The water is so blue and very, it looks very, very clear. So I've just flopped down on a chair. Our tour includes a chair, which is really nice. We don't have to pay for that. And then we get one complimentary drink. I would love to get coffee if I can, but maybe if I can't get a coffee, I'll get a Coke Zero. I bought my Kindle, so I'm gonna read my book, put my music in, and just relax. That was a very successful beach day. I got so far in my book. On my Kindle, I was at like 30% and now I'm at like 76%. So I was plugging away at that. I'm currently reading November 9th. Very, very good. My best friend from college only recommended it to me and I'm thoroughly enjoying it. To be honest, I was really on a self-help kind of book kick for a long time and eventually I just needed like a little break, something different. And I started reading Colleen Hoover because everyone was talking about her books. So I ended up giving them a try. I've read It Ends With Us, Reminders of Him, and now November 9th, which I am really enjoying. So almost at the end of that book. And then I'm trying to decide what I wanna read next. I might read It Starts With Us, um, but if you have book recs to read next, let me know. I want to see if the Bills game is on the TV because they are playing today, uh, Thanksgiving Day, prime time. They're playing the Lions. So I've been following the score on my phone, but I don't know if it's possible if I can watch it because I have a little bit of time to chill. No, just cricket, <laughs> just cricket on the TV, which is great, but I don't, I want, I want the Bills. This is one of the negative parts of being on a ship is that I can't watch normal TV. Like, we get some channels, but we don't even get the basics. Oh, it is on! Guys, it's on TV! Woo! I'm so happy right now. <laughs> what a pleasant surprise. 
Oh, my day is made. Go Bills! Come on, come on, come on. Oh! It is currently halftime. I'm going to do my hair and makeup now just so it's out of the way because I have to do it in like an hour anyways. So I might as well do it now while I'm not watching and try to get it done by the time halftime's over. It is so stressful to be a Bills fan. You have no idea. If you're a Bills fan yourself, you know. It's just, you go through every emotion while watching a game. Excitement, frustration, anger, stress, everything. I'm gonna put on some like really chill vibe music and just chill out a bit during this halftime. Hair and makeup is finished. The Bills game is back on and I'm so stressed. <laughs> We're still in the lead by five as of right now. I do still have to straighten my ponytail, but that always comes after warm up eyes and lipstick, of course. But I've been doing a different eyeshadow look lately for the show and I've been loving it. It's more of like a red orangey kind of vibe. I actually started to run out of the glitter I usually use for my eyes for the shows. And I wanted to switch it up, so I decided to try something different, and I've been loving it. So, this is my current show makeup as, as of lately. But significant. I'm finished with warm up ice with Graham and Shinatsu. Um, the Bills won. This is gonna go up way later than the game, but the Bills won. I was nearly having a heart attack in the room. And then I had to come straight here and just watch the score live on my phone for the last like two minutes, which definitely took some years off of my life, but all is well, blood pressure is down, and we're ready for a show. Hi. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving! <laughs> Alrighty, it is showtime. Just heading to stage left. Hello. I, they got my new costume. Can you try it on, please? I would love to try it on for you. <laughs> I am Shinatsu. I might need a dresser. Sure. <laughs> Here we go. Thank you, dresser. Thank you. It's a little bit. This is exactly, <laughs> This is ready for show. <laughs> The way that it actually fits you, like it's your costume. I, I know, it's pretty spot on. Wow, I should put my fake it's so vibrant. In. Yeah, and skirt? And skirt, yeah. Skirt, we can just unzip. I've looked at it already. <laughs> Maybe we can go out as a duet. It's a little tight. 
but I'll make it work. It's like in that. The show is starting, so you're ready now for the sun. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Jordan is about to come off the stage from her solo. So proud of her, she's doing a solo this year. Uh, she's been trying out for this solo for uh, so long. Anyways, she's coming, so come over. Ready? Wrong hat. Don't have time for that. Okay. We did it. Oh, thank you guys. You're welcome. That is a quick change if I ever had one. Oh, especially after solo. Anyways, there's my partner in crime. We're ready to go waltz. Yes. Shall we? One show down, one to go, and then we can relax for the evening. I'm like hiding in the corner because everyone's not dressed. <laughs> so I just ran to the mess because I wanted to see what they had for Thanksgiving. It was really nice. They had like a balloon display and a little banner. They were also serving beer, wine, and pop. So I did snag two cans of Coke Zero because I usually buy that. So if I can get it for free, I'm going to take that opportunity. So now, I'm just walking back to the cabin and probably gonna read my book some more. <laughs> Look who it is! <laughs> Inside all of these boxes is the Christmas decor that they put up around the ship, including the giant tree on the promenade. So, it's almost time. I was walking back to the corridor and I just saw the vacuum just sitting there in the hallway. So I snagged it. <laughs> I'm gonna vacuum because it's such a pain to find a vacuum on the ship, so <laughs> you have to seize the opportunity when you have it, you know? Welcome to ship life. Just vacuuming in between ice shows. It's fine. I know I said I was going to read, but I actually just wrote out a list of all the things that I'm currently grateful for. It just really put into perspective just how lucky I am to live the life I do. Like, I have so much to be grateful for. I've had so many incredible opportunities and experiences at only 25, so I can't wait to see what the future holds. But at the same time, I never could have predicted all the opportunities that life would give me and all the blessings that I have. So yeah, I'm just feeling extremely thankful and I think it's important to reflect on that frequently, not just on Thanksgiving, because you can get caught up in life and obviously take things for granted at times, but I just try to remind myself just how lucky I am and I really do have so much to be grateful for. This year has been an absolutely spectacular year and I couldn't be more thankful for this job. I love to skate. It is my passion and not a day goes by that I take that for granted. I just love being in the spotlight and performing so I'm so thankful for that and I'm also thankful for all the places this contract has brought me. I really have gone all over the world in the span of like nine or 10 months. So um, that has been honestly a dream come true. I'm also so, so, so thankful for you guys. Like I always had the dream of having my own YouTube channel and that it would become successful one day, but I just never would have imagined that it would grow into what it is today. So thank you for just believing in me, supporting me, coming back every week to watch my videos. It still kind of baffles my mind that over 50,000 of you are subscribed to my channel and care what I have to say, but I am just so thankful for you guys. 
and I hope that I have been able to positively impact your life in at least one tiny way. Thank you so much. A big virtual hug to each and every one of you watching this. And I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving if you celebrate. If not, if you're not from the States, I hope you had a wonderful day. I really hope this headband doesn't fall off this opening because it's a very fine line. I either have to tie it just right. It can't be too tight or too loose because otherwise when I jump it goes... Again. Again. I lost dressing. <gasps> Woo! Oh my goodness. The scale signs off in two days. It is the following day. Just wanted to end the vlog. I was honestly so tired yesterday after the shows. They drained me completely that I like came back to the cabin and fell asleep. So I had a really great Thanksgiving even though it was a bit unconventional and I had fun bringing you guys along for the ride. It's always fun to look back at these holidays and see how I spent them. So it'll be interesting to see where I am this time next year. Maybe I'll be home with my family. Maybe I'll be somewhere else around the world. Who knows, but of course I'll always bring you guys along. But thank you so much for watching. I love you all to the moon and back, and I'm so thankful for you. And I will see you in my next video.